as Israel continues to pound what it says are Hamas targets in Gaza, including this school run by the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, known as UNRWA, humanitarian aid to Palestinian civilians is more essential than ever. But the two largest donors to the UNRWA, the United States and Germany, have suspended their aid, along with 14 other donor countries. A document allegedly circulated by Israel said that 12 UNRWA employees took part in the deadly October 7th attack in which Hamas terrorists killed 1,200 people and took another 253 people captive in Gaza. UNRWA's communications director, Tamara al responded, We have 33,000 people. Most of them, all of them almost, are very hardworking, very committed. They have been in the agency for many years. And so it's extremely important for us to really have an independent investigation into these specific individual cases that Israel brought to our attention. At the United Nations on Wednesday, U.S. Envoy Linda Thomas-Greenfield had this to say. I know that we need to see fundamental uh, changes before we can resume providing uh, funding directly to UNRWA. And as you know, um, we shouldn't let that cloud the great work that UNRWA does. UNRWA warns that unless donor countries resume aid, it may have to suspend operations in Gaza by the end of this month. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said that would be catastrophic. UNRWA is the backbone of all humanitarian response in Gaza. I appeal to all member states to guarantee the continuity of UNRWA's life-saving work. One expert said she believes the UN is doing what the United States and other donor countries have requested. So the UN is taking all of the steps that one would expect, um, including firing people, investigating people, um, they are doing what is needed to make sure that the people who had anything to do with October 7th are no longer part of the organization. It still is the case that UNRWA is providing crucial life-saving aid when not a lot of people or humanitarian organizations can get into Gaza. This is absolutely essential. So to suspend funding um, is just uh, an extreme position. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry says roughly 27,000 people have died in the Israeli military operation against the U.S.-designated terrorist group Hamas since October 7th. Cindy Sane, VOA News.